Hey there, today we'll be comparing Yahoo and Gmail to find out which one is the better email platform for you. Both are big players in the email world, but they have their unique strengths and weaknesses. So let's dive into five key categories to help you make an informed decision. Let's start with a brief overview of Yahoo versus Gmail. So Yahoo has a familiar interface, but lacks advanced filtering. It offers a massive one TB of free storage and has no clear sending limits. It has limited apps and integrations and is built for basic email functions. On the other hand, Gmail has a user interface that is clean with efficient labeling and productivity features. You've got 15 gigabyte of free storage shared across Google Drive and Photos. It also allows you to send up to 2000 emails per day. It seamlessly integrates with Google products and third party apps. Built with productivity in mind, featuring extensions and follow up tools. Now let's explore these categories in more details. So let's first talk about interfaces and usability. Both Yahoo and Gmail feel familiar and offer essential features like inboxes, spam filtering and tabs. However, Gmail stands out with its organized inbox filtering, dividing emails into primary, promotions and social tabs. Yahoo lacks this feature, making its interface feel somewhat messy. So in terms of ads, Yahoo displays a large banner on the right hand side, which might not be everyone's cup of tea. Gmail, on the other hand, keeps things clean and ad free. We can safely say that the winner is Gmail for this category. Now let's talk about safety and security. Security is crucial for any email platform. Gmail has a stronger security track record compared to Yahoo, which suffered a significant data breach in 2016. Gmail also encourages users to adopt stronger passwords, two-step authentication and session expiry for added protection. Again, we can safely say that the winner here is Gmail. Now let's talk about storage limits. If storage is a priority, then Yahoo takes the lead, offering a whopping 1 TB of free cloud storage. In contrast, Gmail provides 15 gigabytes of free storage shared between Gmail, Google Drive and Google Photos. So here, the winner will have to be Yahoo. Now let's move on to sending limits. Gmail sets a clear limit of 2000 emails per day, while Yahoo does not disclose its sending limits. This lack of information could be frustrating for heavy email users. Therefore, the winner would have to be Gmail again. Now let's move on to apps and integrations. So Gmail shines in this category, seamlessly integrating with Google products like Calendar, Google Meet, Google Docs and Drive. It also offers numerous third party apps integrations for a smooth user experience. Yahoo, on the other hand, has limited app development in this area. Therefore, the winner would have to be, you've guessed it, Gmail. All right, let's move on to the last category, which is productivity and extensions. So Gmail excels in boosting productivity with features like follow up reminders, email scheduling and snooze options. Additionally, Gmail offers a rich marketplace of extensions like Mailmedia, which enhances email marketing and automation. Again, the winner would have to be Gmail. So in the battle of Yahoo versus Gmail, Gmail emerges as the clear winner for most users. With its user-friendly interface, robust security, productivity features, and extensive app ecosystem, Gmail is a top choice for personal and business use. So if you're looking to streamline your email experience and make the most of your communication, Gmail is the way to go. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments section which email platform you prefer. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful content. See you next time.